Hello and welcome to this episode of Will Weekly. Today I'm reviewing the film Ghost in a Shell and then I'm also going to talk about the new Fast and the Furious movie or should I say Fate of the Furious. There's some rumors going on about that film coming out so we're going to talk about that on this episode of Will Weekly. How many were there before me? She was supposed to have a clean brain. So that was a clip from the film Ghost in a Shell starring Scarlett Johansson. This movie is based on Japanese anime. So in this movie, Scarlett Johansson plays the character Major. She is the first of her kind because in the future in this film, everybody is enhanced somehow. A lot of people have chips, chips on their mind, computer chips on their mind to download information. People are enhanced physically, but she's the first one to have a completely artificial body. It's just her brain in there. Supposedly, she was in a very bad terrorist attack and this company saved her and put her brain in the shell of this uh, robot so she's the first of her kind so it questions where is the soul does she still have a soul even though it's just the brain and that's kind of like where the lines blur of what is existence what is humanity uh, is she still human is she a robot she's half human half robot so that i found kind of interesting now let's talk about the good things about this movie visually i thought it was amazing the way they did the future the futuristic city i mean the special effects were top notch in this movie in some cases you know it were I guess that you know they didn't have the budget to completely make everything amazing looking but for the most part the special effects in this movie were amazing the way the city looks and everything is just really cool really well done and also the action scenes in this movie were pretty interesting pretty well done even though I feel like there weren't enough of them and also Scarlett Johansson does a good job in this film of carrying the movie doing all the action scenes I really can't picture a lot of other actresses pulling off this film the way she did because she has so much experience doing these types of action movies with the Avengers and Lucy so she was very believable in this role and she did a good job originally when the first trailer came out for this film I wasn't sure if Scarlett Johansson was the right pick for this movie I just really wasn't sure if she was it because I thought maybe Olivia Munn would be good for this film uh, because she's Asian and this is based on Japanese anime but now that I saw this movie I'm like you know what Scarlett Johansson did a good job because she has experience doing action movies like the Avengers and other movies like that like Lucy so I feel like she really can carried this film and I thought she did a really good job. Now let's move on to the things that maybe bothered me a little bit about this film that I thought could have been done a little bit better. First of all, I think the character development in this movie just wasn't there. Like I really didn't get to know any of the characters. We learned mainly about what happened to Major in this movie, what happened to her before, you know, she was like this android, but still you didn't really get a sense of who she was before this and all the other characters you really don't know much about them so you really can't connect with any of the characters they just kind of feel like one-dimensional characters especially the villain the villain just feels like this generic bad guy head of this corporation that you just can't stand and you can just tell off the bat that he's up to no good so pretty much I just feel like the characters were a little bit flat also I feel like the movie takes itself a little bit too serious it was kind of dark and and a little bit too depressing throughout the whole movie I, I wish there was maybe like one character would have, that would have kept it a little bit more lighthearted maybe like a friend that she has I just felt like the whole thing took itself a little bit too serious and it kind of made the movie feel like it dragged a little bit so that I didn't like either and then my my last complaint about this movie is that I feel like the third act wasn't as good as it could have been I feel like things kind of wrapped up a little bit too easily at the end like she went through this whole journey and at the end, the bad guy, you know, he was just like easily taken out. So that was a little kind of a bummer because, I mean, the movie was pretty good till then. I think if it would have had a stronger third act, then maybe they could have saved this movie and maybe it could have been a better movie overall. So those are some of my complaints. So this movie has its good things. It has its bad things. Overall, it's not a terrible movie. It came in third place at the box office. So I highly doubt that there's going to be a, you know, a sequel to this film because in Hollywood it's all about the money if this movie made a ton of money they probably would have made a sequel
sequel, but it really didn't. It only made about $19 million in its opening weekend, coming in in third place, which is not great for the movie like this that I'm sure costs so much money. So out of five stars, I'm gonna give this movie a three and a half stars, a solid three and a half stars. Overall, it is a pretty enjoyable movie. Was it worth seeing it in 3D? Eh, I don't think so. Even though the special effects were pretty amazing, I would probably watch this at home because it was a good movie, but it wasn't a great movie. Do I recommend it? Yeah, it did have its good parts, its fun parts, but it could have been a little bit better. So out of five stars, three and a half stars. Now moving on to Fast and the Furious is coming out in a couple of weeks. There's some rumors on set. Sources say that uh, producers are keeping Vin Diesel and The Rock away from each other still to this point, even while they're promoting the movie. They've been promoting the movie in Cinecon in Las Vegas. And when The Rock has been there, Vin Diesel has been there. Vin Diesel's mainly been there with the rest of the cast promoting the film, while The Rock really has, hasn't showed up with the rest of the crew to promote the film he's been busy filming baller season three and then he's also been there to promote baywatch but the rock has not been there to promote the new fast and the furious movie personally i'm not sure how realistic this drama is i feel like it's part of the hype to promote this movie like i said before i think the rock is a marketing genius he knows how to promote a film he knows how to promote a wrestling event he's been doing this for his whole life and i'm really not buying that these two guys are not getting along the way you'll really know if these two guys are not getting along is if the rock signs up for another fast and the furious movie if he shows up in the next movie then you know this whole thing was a big prank a big promotional stunt because the rock honestly doesn't need these franchises the rock has so many other franchises going on that he doesn't need to sign up for another movie where he can't stand the other main co-star so let's see what happens let's see what happens after this film let's see if the rock does sign up sign on for another fast and the furious movie i highly doubt it i feel like this is a whole big publicity stunt. I think these guys are just doing this purposefully to sell this movie that's coming out in a couple of weeks. Well, that's all for today's show. Let me know what you think about this episode. Did you watch Ghost in the Shell? Did you like it? Do you think that the beef between The Rock and Vin Diesel is real? Let me know. Leave me a comment. And thanks for watching, guys. I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Press that like button. Press that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe. You don't got to pay nothing. I promise. And pretty soon we're going to be giving some giveaways too for all my subscribers stay tuned for that thanks again for watching guys i'll see you guys on the next episode of will weekly peace out